this is Jenny. I thought I would show you, just take a minute to show you one of my packets and show you how to get your pattern onto your canvas. This one is called Fall Favorites, coming soon. And in the packet, you'll, you'll get photographs, you'll get a full set of instructions, and you'll get a pattern. Now the pattern, which looks like this, okay, is uh, a full-size pattern that you can trace onto your canvas. Now, let me show you how I do that. First off, I take a piece of transfer paper. You can get this at any Hobby Lobby or any uh, craft store. It's just um, black transfer paper. Transfer paper. I've got a white canvas, and something that I use a lot is I've taken a piece of, of thick wood, plywood, and I've cut it to the size of this opening in the back of my canvas. What that does is when I sit that down on there, it makes that canvas harder. Now, you don't have to have a piece of plywood. If you don't have that, get a book any size book that you can move around underneath of there as you transfer your pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my transfer paper underneath of my pattern. Put the pattern over top of that. This transfer paper is just basically um, carbon, kind of a carbon type paper. I also get this at Hobby Lobby uh, or on Amazon. You know, you can get anything on Amazon. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of pieces of tape and I'm going to put this pattern right where I want it on my canvas, right there, and I'm going to tape it, tape it down. This pattern has lines up here at the top so I can see where the edge of the canvas goes, right? So now I've got my paper and then I've got my transfer paper underneath of there. Make sure you have the right side down. This is the side that's gonna make the mark. You can test that before you uh, put that on there if you're not sure. Okay, so now I've got my paper or my, my pattern over the top of my canvas. And the next thing I do, because I don't like to damage my, um, I like to reuse my uh, patterns. Now I use them quite a lot in classes and such is I take a piece of plastic. Now what this is, is basically, it is a one of those sheet um, protectors that you put stuff in, that you put paper in. I take it and I cut it open so that it lays flat onto my can or onto my pattern. And I just cut the, the edge off see open it up so that it's flat now what this does is it lets me use a, a stylus to transfer my pattern to my canvas and yet I don't put marks on my canvas or my pattern itself so that I can reuse it at a later time if I want okay so let's the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stylus. Now this basically is just is what it is. I take the small end of the stylus because I think it works better than the, the bigger end. And I just transfer my pattern. I push down with this stylus. Let me show you what happens here. Get a few of these petals on. I just go over it. Kind of remember where I am I kind of start in one area and then go all the way around so that I don't lose my my place but here's the fun part of having that tape on there get a few more of these on here when I lift this up I can take my Trans or my transfer paper completely out. And see there, there's my pattern traced onto the canvas.
okay? And then, but see, because I have this taped down, I don't lose the positioning of my of my canvas. It's it's or my paper. It's right on there. It stays in place, and then I can continue on with tracing the pattern. And I just go around. Like I said, make sure that I get all the the lines on there that I want. Some of my patterns have a lot of detail in them and you kind of have to judge some of the finer detail. Maybe you don't really need that in there, but for the most part I try to get as much detail in there for you as I can so that when you go to paint you can look at the, the painting and you can see where these uh, things go. So I just continue on until I have a complete pattern traced on there. This pattern is going to be used, or this canvas is going to be used for a demo painting. I'm going to be doing a demo painting of this one. And I'll put the preview on YouTube and then I will um, put the full length video on my website so that you can get the instructional packet mailed to you so that you have a hard copy or you can get uh, an e-packet if you have a printer you can print all these things out you don't have to um, have the mailed packet And you can print them out in, uh, at home, and that way you get it right away. You don't have to wait for the mail to come, because it usually takes you know a few days, depending on where you live, to get these. I'm in Indiana, so it kind of takes a few days to get the pattern mailed to you. But if you're like me, sometimes you just like to have that hard copy in your hot little hands. So I can, I actually put these in one of these sheet protectors. I put the whole thing in a sheet protector like this that has a th uh, three ring holes so that you can put this in a three ring binder. And I have binders of a lot of the different uh, patterns that I bought over the years. And I can look back at them and redo them if I want. But these days you can also do a file on your computer and save them that way. I'm just doing this real quick because I want to show you the finished the finished product so that you get a good idea. Now see, I can kind of tell where that board underneath of there, if it's off uh, to one side or the other, and that's the way if you have a book or something under there that doesn't fit exactly, you can move your canvas around so that you keep the hard part underneath of where your um, stylus is running, where you're tracing that pattern. Let's take a peek, see if I've got most of it. I think I do. I think that's that. So, let me show you. I saved my transfer paper because you can use it multiple times. Just set that aside. I can also use this plastic sheet that I made several times. So I can set that aside. And then when I remove my pattern, fold that up, put it back in the packet, and then I have a completely transferred pattern right on my canvas ready to ready to go. I hope that helps make your painting life easier.